Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Just back from my bike ride. Uh, yes, I'm still continuing the, uh, the mask. Hey, if there's any banging, uh, they're putting carpet in, uh, in the house down part of my house here. If you guys hear banging, that's where it don't pay no, pay no mind to it. All right. So I, I wore the mask again today. I just wore it for my own safety precautions. Um, an interesting day today. All right, there was two areas of construction that I went by, one at the beginning of my, my 10 mile run and one at the, the end. Uh, both had a, two policemen and lots of construction workers. As I went by the first one, a construction worker was talking to the policeman, and I've seen this guy around before from town. You know, I go, I go by these construction sites every day. And the, the construction worker is just ignoring what the cop is saying. He's just staring at me. And I, I wave. I forgot I had the mask on on my bike, you know. I was like, and he just, it's like a cold stare, man. And he just stares like right through me. The cop never turned around. So then I realized, ah, the mask. All right. So then uh, at the end of my ride, I go by another construction site and there's a cop at the front and cop on the other side. It's a one lane going through and I'm waiting for him. You know, all the cars are going through and I'm on the bike coming at the end and I'm like, I'm waiting. I'm kind of, you know, waiting to see him flag me through and he just stares at me, man. So I'm like, all right. So I keep, I go through, you know, I go through and I, I wave. Nothing, man. Just a cold stare. I go by the construction site, then pass the other cop on the other side. Cold stare, man. And these are the same cops that used to go and say, hey, brother, hey, brother, looking good, doing good. Where's the photo shoot, man? I swear that's what they said to me before. Where's the photo shoot? Like one time I was saying, you know, I should walk around shoreless up, uh, up at the dam and stuff. And they bust my ass. All good natures, but not today, man. Today it was nothing. They just it was just, it was the uh, what do they call it the three mile stare or whatever, right through me, man. Interesting. All right, serious. Let's talk. What are we gonna talk about? Let's talk about Trump supporters. Trump supporters surprise me continually. I think I have them figured out. Not not in a good way, not in a bad way. Just in their absurdity. Absurdity. All right. So what I've been hearing from Trump supporters and with Trump getting COVID-19 and all of his bizarre, his bizarreness, they don't even, they don't even pay no mind to that. They, you know, his uh, flip-flopping, his, his pulling back the stimulus and the uh, stock market dropping yesterday, the day before. It's like they, they don't even, I, I, I guess Fox News must not cover it because they don't even know about it. They, you know, or, or it's Nancy Pelosi. It's all Nancy Pelosi. Even though Trump goes on TV and says, I am telling my representatives to, to cut negotiations and walk away. Somehow in Trump world, that translates to it's Nancy Pelosi's fault. And then, you know, we, we all know he's trying to do a piecemeal. I, I don't know what he's doing. Um, thank God that I, I don't need that $1,200 to, to buy food. You know, knock on wood, man. Um, or or I, I'd be, I'd be, you know, the people that need that to pay their rent, I cannot, I feel so bad for them right now. They must be, I, I don't know, you know, if you're depending on that to, to not get kicked out of your, where you're living or to make your mortgage and Trump keeps flip-flopping flip on it, I cannot imagine how insane that must make somebody. All right, so anyway, back to the COVID-19. This is what I've heard from Trump supporters, even, even the ones around me. My family member, my family go member goes, she, uh, she knows I have a, a YouTube channel. She goes, you're not going to make fun of him, are you? <laughs> and I said, no. I said, you know, you, you raised a better son than that. You know, you guys know the first video I made where I, I said, you know, this, is, this was the Friday that he came out with it. If you guys go back and watch that video, I said, you know, he's somebody's father or grandfather. And, you know, I'm not going to laugh because at that point we didn't know if he was even going to make it, you know, and I still feel that way. But this is what Trump supporters are saying now. I heard it around town here to some people I talked to, family members, and I heard it on TV this morning. They were interviewing uh, uh, a sheriff from the eastern side of Pennsylvania. They were interviewing like uh, around coal mining country. And I cannot believe Trump has just forgotten about the coal miners. 
I think 2,500 coal miners have been laid off since Trump took office. Uh, and some of them are still swearing, still sticking by them. So this sheriff goes, the sheriff, they got him on TV, and he's got that West Virginia backwoods deliverance, the uh, banjo playing and everything. He's got that twang in his voice. And he goes, yeah, I, I won't imitate it. And he goes, yeah, they make fun of him. They're, they're going to make fun of him. They're using, they're using his words against him. And that's what I heard around, around town, too. We're, we're making fun of him by using his own words against him, by making fun, reminding him of what he said. Actual words from Trump supporters. They're upset that we're making fun of Donald Trump because we're telling, we're, we're, we're throwing his words back in his face. And that's just mean. This was kind of before he popped out of the hospital all juiced up on roids. I hope you guys got that from the, the title. That's, I, I know when you, when, you, when you hear the term ju juiced on roids, it usually means weightlifting, but I thought I could use it for this too. Anyway, so yes, the audacity of us Democrats and uh, liberals and progressives throwing his words back in his face. I guess in Trump world, it's a new Trump day and they don't remember what Trump said yesterday, you know, because he flip flops and everything. So I guess that's how it works in Trump world. Um, you're not supposed to remember what he said yesterday. Um, and it's, you know, it's just, it's just, it's bad etiquette. It's bad manners for us to, re to remind Donald Trump of what he said yesterday. You know, and I, I, then I started getting angry. I thought about, once again, this was a big thing with me. When he made fun of the reporter back in 2016, when he, when he did that thing, oh, and he mocked that guy that was the reporter born with birth defects. In, in front of a whole auditorium, got the whole auditorium laughing at a guy born with birth defects. He just thought that was, he got the whole crowd laughing. That was one, of, I, I, to this day, that is one of the most unbelievable, disgusting things I've ever seen any human being do, let alone a president. So let me get this straight. You know, we Democrats, we progressives, we, we, we Biden supporters, it's bad, it's bad manners of us to throw Donald Trump's words back at him, the, the way that he, he made fun of Joe Biden with the mask and everything. That's, that's bad. We're not supposed to make fun of him because, you know, this is, this is serious now. But it was okay back when he mocked that guy born with birth defects. Well, that was nothing. He was just kidding around. That was a different Donald Trump. You know, I, I don't go along with that. That wasn't that funny. Yeah. So we're supposed to, you know, we're supposed to, not, we're supposed to be nice to him and not remind him of what he said yesterday. We're not supposed to throw his words back in his face. Unbe unbelievable. This is how their minds work in Trump world. You know, you're not supposed to remember what Donald Trump, God forbid, you remind Donald, you know, you throw it back at Donald Trump what he said yesterday. They're going to use his words against him. They're going to, I can't believe, and they're serious when they say this. We're being mean because, because he, has, he, has the, he has the virus and we're going to throw his words back at him. Unbelievable. And, you know, if it wasn't, if it, that part with the reporter just made me angry when I thought about that. It's like, you got to be kidding. That's not even hypocrisy. That, that makes me want to just fall off, man. You know, uh, making, all right. Anyway, you guys get my point. All right. You guys have a good Thursday. I'll be back later.